Fitzgerald had, it sounds like, I, that job's worth 50 grand. That job's worth 100 grand. It sounds so tacky. It sounds so sleazy, but that's not a crime. But he keeps saying, take it out of context. Why not just say that, okay, look, everybody does this. This is part of the political landscape. He keeps saying, I took it, was taken out of context. No, it's not. We've got the comments. They were not taken out of context. There's no way to reverse them. Sleazy is sleazy. Criminal is criminal. Right. This is not criminal. I would have done it this way, with all due respect. I say, Say you're incapacitated, Governor. You have a lieutenant governor. The lieutenant governor assumes the governorship pending an outcome of the criminal matter. He's exonerated. He is no longer incapacitated. He resumes the office to which the people of the state of Abe Lincoln elected him two times. Then if he is convicted, the lieutenant governor has the job. But to do it this way, where he is not allowed to bring in witnesses. But the difference with what you guys are talking about is, is this is a, a state, you know, Senate impeachment hearing. There and is then there's the criminal side, in right. which case you would have the right to have your side of the story heard. And those are the laws that will be refers to that we all, you know, know and understand. But there is, I keep going back to this. Patrick Fitzgerald has delivered no indictment against right. this person. Right. So how can he, the Congress, he gave a great press conference. Yeah, how can the state, in absolutely, Lincoln's going to roll over in his grave right, when he sees right. what I have. Imagine so how fair where that is. is it? That was the U.S. attorney, the federal U.S. attorney, saying before the trial, before the indictment, Lincoln would roll over in his grave. If he that saw man what should I've be got. ashamed of Fitzgerald. You should be ashamed of yourself. You jumped the gun. Right. You screwed this man's life up. You have thrown this process into total disarray. Unless he's waiting. I mean, in fairness to the to the to, to the uh, federal what? prosecutor, unless you can they're always waiting amend to put his case together. Well, in fairness, he's been very good in the past. Unless he's waiting to put his case together to say, well, Patrick Fitzgerald has no case, I think he might be jumping the gun just a second. Why not in a simple indictment? You can always amend an indictment. Uh, here's corruption. Here's what he said. Right. Here's the law that it violates. So he's indicted one count. Here's an indictment. You can always supersede the indictment with more charges, right. supersede that indictment. You can always rewrite it. What he did was shameful. It was a, a total deprivation of this man's due process. But you know the indictment. with that indictment. The indictment's easy. The indictment's easy to get. You, you get it. Why, why doesn't he have it? It's a very it? simple thing to do. It's and not like you couldn't he get it. it. Because he uh, doesn't that's have the it. Question. I don't know. Doug Burns, why doesn't he have it? Yeah, he doesn't I mean, have why it. Why doesn't he have, have the have indictment it. right now, Patrick Fisher? Oh, he has a microphone. I mean, what's the it, deal here? No, it's very surprising. He asked for 90 more days when yeah. he had said Lincoln was turning over his grave. I've been saying that, Geraldo, and I agree with Does you. Does he not have a case? Is Geraldo right? Is this is this sleazy? Is this is this um, not the way you go about doing it? I would Your certainly agree with Geraldo that to do that 50 minute press conference and pile right. on when the guy said this is a valuable seat may not mean for money. It's hard to say. Uh, I mean, the question is whether or not anything was consummated, right? Any money changed hands, and that's why. Why he wants Rahm Emanuel and Valerie Jai to come forward the rub. and say there was no money, nothing changed hands. Here's the rub. The courts have no power over that impeachment proceeding. Right. That is a legislative proceeding. The courts are powerless. That decision, once he is impeached, is not reviewable by any court. So the governor cannot appeal that decision in any way. To whom can he appeal right. it? But there is no appellate no process, which but, Doug was telling me. There's no appellate process. In the, there's in the no process. appellate process. But the spin, Geraldo, about he can't call any witnesses is a little too harsh. Hold what? on. Because, what? no, no, no. He's only blocked from calling a witness where the U.S. attorney says it'll Im impede the investigation. But, but if they, somebody showed up voluntarily, everyone. let me just finish. Voluntarily without a subpoena, that's not the they way can I read be it. heard. That's not the way I read I, that's it. That's rule 15F. I read, they are going to impeach right. him on bringing in drugs from Canada to right. circumvent the pharmaceutical lobby right. and some flu vaccine. The reasons they are using for impeachment is are so minuscule right. and they are specifically designed to avoid the meat of this case, right. which is why this impeachment was convened the corruption so allegations. So could have bought in people on those charges. Okay, Brian, we got 15 seconds to a hard break. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> we'll be right back. More stuff coming up. <laughs>